new type of life-saving rubber dinghy has been made. An improvement on older types which have already saved the lives of countless airmen shot down in the sea. But in order to test the dinghy under actual conditions, five Royal Air Force air crew men volunteered to spend four days and four nights in it, in a rough sea. Two other men went with them as observers, the observers working 12-hour shifts. So in the cause of humanity, for the benefit of all airmen who may find themselves wrecked in the sea in the future, these men courageously faced a most severe ordeal. They had been medically examined beforehand to make certain they were fit enough to stand it. Modern rubber dinghies are supplied with many devices to help the men keep alive and to assist rescuing aircraft or ships in finding them. But everything must be simple to the last degree. The men on the dinghy may be severely wounded. In any case, they will soon be very weak from exposure and seasickness. Complete tests could therefore only be carried out if the volunteers remained in their little ship for days and nights without any outside help. A grim test indeed. By the time they came aboard the trawler once more, all had been desperately sick, desperately cold and wet through to the skin. Well done. If in view of our experience, Air Sea Rescue and Bomber Command are able to improve on the excellent equipment and wonderful work that they are now doing in rescuing crews who are forced to ditch, I'm sure that our crew will feel that any discomforts we have suffered have been amply repaid. <laughs>